this printer has been installed once before. That's why um, it's going to not initialize like it does in the instructions, but we're going to go ahead and continue on. It says here, that make sure the power is on. The power is on. If I can get you to look more closely here, you see a blinking orange Wi-Fi connection here. It says it says there there's there is wireless, but it is it is in the red or, or orange. It is not green. That's uh, indicative of Lexmark telling us that the Wi-Fi connection is not completely connected yet. The power is on. You can see that here. It's not uh, flashing green. I'm going to turn the light off here. You can see that this is this is green, and we have a flashing orange connection. So go to the next screen. And here it says, uh, if prompted, please set the language. So uh, if we, on the initial setup, it would prompt us for a language. Of course, I'd pick English. And it will continue on. It says set country and region. Uh, we picked the United States. Even though we're in Japan, we want to make sure everything comes out in English. Um, open printer. That's what we're going to do. We're going to open the printer now and take a look at it. And here we see the inside of the printer and we see the printer cartridges uh, in there. Okay, I'm going to hit continue. Okay, and as we, uh, we go ahead and get a closer look at that. Um, and uh, I'm going to hit continue here. It says open the printer and hit continue. We did that. It tells us to pop up open both, both uh, printer cartridges. So we did that. They're, they are open. We hit continue. Like I said, we're simulating putting in the cartridges in. So it tells you to take the tape off your cartridge. I'm going to go ahead and show you the bottom of the cartridge. Typically, there'll be tape here. You'll see a, it's protecting this. Don't, don't put your hands on, on, on the connectors here. Okay. Because this is used to censor this. And uh, it tells you to pop in the black. Which, which I do, I just pop it in like that. Just set it in like that, hit continue. The software would tell you to, to, will walk you through the entire process. And it tells you to close number one, which we're going to do. And then it will go to the color one, tell you to pull the, the, the tape off the color one and set it in. And it tells you to close the color one. Very easy, step-by-step. -step. Lexmark uh, paid suspension details to these, uh, these printouts. Now it tells us to close the printer, and we will do so. Okay. Continuing on, it says make sure you press the check mark, and uh, here it's talking about aligning the paper. Okay. And it's going to print you a test page. So. We can assume that it's going to ask us to push the check mark every time you want to do a test print. Once again, we still see we don't have a Wi-Fi connection, but we are checking the printer, make sure that we are, we are going to get our uh, heads alignment and the, uh, the color is actually coming out of the ink cartridges. Looking back down here, let's go ahead and hit continue and see what's next. And once again, it says uh, discard the alignment, alignment paper. So we should get uh, a pattern something like this. Okay. It says look for streaks, streaking on your, that is indicative of a, of a, uh, of a dirty uh, print head. Um, let's going to take a look at this and see what kind of, we're going to hit continue. The next screen is very, very important. Here it says check the Wi-Fi indicator and uh, we are looking at our three choices here which is not on uh, orange and green. Okay, so here, looking at the Wi-Fi indicator, we do see that it is flashing orange. Okay, our alignment paper looks good. There's no smearing, no smudging, and we're going to discard it. Okay, now going back to the screen here, it says make sure that the printer power is on, which we know it is. Look at the Wi-Fi indicator on your printer, and what color do you see? We see orange. I'm going to go ahead and click on orange. And look, the continue button goes black and we go ahead and 
hit continue. I think this is a very important step. Now it says, how do you want to connect to your printer? We want to connect to this printer wirelessly, of course. And we see that there's wireless connection and a USB cable connection. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the dot on wireless connection because we want to go wireless and hit continue. Now it says right here, configure wireless. Using the supplied installation cable, connect your printer to any USB port on the computer. So we're, that's what we're going to do first. We're going to go ahead and this came with the Lexmark printer and uh, it's a USB connection on one side and this is another style of USB and uh, this is indicative of scanners and printers. So we're going to go ahead and stick it on this port. Always try to keep your ports exactly the same. If you put your printer on this particular port, keep it on the same port. That's what I advise. Now we're going to go once again to the back of the printer and I'm going to, and this end goes to the back of the printer. I'm going to show you the back of the printer again. And here, once again, we see this USB symbol and this type of USB connector. And we are going to plug that into the printer. We hear our PC blink, uh, telling us there is some kind of a USB detection there, which is a good sign. And we have, once again, wired in our Lexmark uh, printer. Once again, the software itself is going to have to use the computer to configure the Lexmark for wireless communication. I'm going to go ahead and turn the printer back around so we can look at the front. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit the continue button. It's searching. The PC in conjunction with the printer is now searching for a Wi-Fi connection and our Linksys router is still on. It's transmitting in the secure and uh, we'll give it some time to look and find the wireless connection. Once again, go through the complete installation procedure. Do not stop until, uh, until, until you actually get. Um, let's take a look at, let's take a close up of this screen here. This is very interesting here. It says right here, choose a network. It says your printer will connect to a network that you choose. And when it gives you a choice, first choice is connect to Linksys 01 which is a very good indicator that uh, our, our, our Linksys is working and it can detect through the wireless connection the name of this network. Or it gives you another choice, connect to another network. Here we're going to go ahead and chip, pick Linksys 01. I highlight that once and you notice continue goes black. Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and, and hit continue. Now it ex asks us once again for that WPA2 network security key, which is very, very important. I'm going to go ahead and open up my, since I don't remember it, I'm going to go ahead and open up the, the notepad again, and it tells me the network security key is right here again. And this, remember, this is randomly generated by the Linksys software. I'm going to right click and copy it. And you can manually type it in as well. Make sure, you, make sure your casing is the same. And I'm going to paste it in here. And sure enough, there it is. I have uh, H-E-L-A-D-R-3-C-9-H. Or, and so I make sure the same network key matches our Linksys. And now we are ready to hit the continue. And Hopefully, you notice that the Wi-Fi connection turned orange and stabilized itself. So we can see right down here that the Wi-Fi connection did turn orange and stabilized itself. 
the computer in conjunction with the printer is trying to link or set the Wi-Fi of the printer to my Linksyst. In this case we call it Linksys 01 and we use the same security key, the identical security key that we used for the Toshiba laptop. We are also inserting into the Lexmark printer for wireless communication using the same WPA2 security key. This is going to take a little bit of time. What we are waiting for is the Lexmark printer to turn green. Once we get a green security key, uh, once the security key is authenticated to the router, um, that symbol should turn green and we should have a Wi-Fi connection going from the printer to the Linksyst. Okay, now we just got the OK from the software to remove the installation cable remove our USB connection cable. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to first disconnect it from the laptop and then I'm going to go to the back and disconnect it here. The, the program is telling us connection successful. Your printer is successfully, successfully connected to your wireless network. And <laughs> notice that it is green and uh, it is, an, and we do have a Wi-Fi, a successful Wi-Fi connection. Once again, um, do not stop the software at any point until you see the words "finish." This is this is important that we go through the entire procedure, uh, the entire Lexmark installation procedure. Here